and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some four color gates, a deck that I think is really well positioned in this current metagame with um, with a lot of uh, small creatures, like against all the Witches Oven Cauldron Familiar decks, I think that four color gates does a really good job against them. You just go a lot bigger. Your creatures don't care about Cauldron Familiar, which is which is key. You can't just let your creatures just get chump blocked by Cauldron Familiar a lot. You have to have a large trample creature like Gatebreaker Ram or Hydro Crisis that has flying and trample. Obviously, the flying is nice. And then, of course, Gate Colossus can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less anyway. So you just have large creatures. Um, we get to get, get a whole lot of mana with our Grow Spirals and our Circuitous Routes. Go a lot bigger. Draw tons of cards with Guild Summit. And just not really worry about the small creatures. Then, of course, you have six main deck good sweepers with Gates of Blaze and Deafening Clarion. Um, yeah, I just really like where, where Four Color Gates is right now. Hey, what's up, Midnight Slayer? Four Color Gates does struggle against Planeswalkers, especially Narset can be a problem. But just other Planeswalkers, like that's, that's really where we're going to struggle the most against. Um, but there's not a whole lot of Narsets in the metagame right now. Not a whole lot of Planeswalkers in general in the metagame and so yeah like i think four color gates is, is in a pretty good spot uh so let's go ahead and give it a try so we're gonna be playing over and ranked hawkeye's here he likes the new computer of course this is the new computer those of y'all watching on youtube let me know how the video is going for you let me know if it's better But yeah, thank you so much for that reset there, Midnight Slayer. Hey. Uh. All right, so let's let's give this a try. What do we got? Okay, a bunch of lands and hydro crisis. That seems like what we want to be doing. Oh no, don't collect my pelt. Don't collect my pelt. The uh, perils of being on the draw. Oh, that's good news. They didn't get to grow anything else. They didn't play a 3-3. So the Gates of Blaze does two damage. Perfect. Okay, why aren't you in the picture? Less me, more Hawkeye. All right, so we're at 11. This turn we can play a 4-4 four, four gate or sorry, we can we can play an 8-8 eight, eight gate colossus, a four mana gate colossus. Is what I meant to say. Yeah, I'll just do that. I can't really do too much else. Okay. Draw a card. Ram. I don't really need to attack. Like we're winning like a longer game anyway. I don't know. Like basically there you go. I was gonna say that questing beast is probably the worst the worst case scenario. Like questing beast attack all. Like, if I would have attacked the Gate Colossus. Alright, bye, Hawkeye. 
<clears throat> All right, so Krasis would be for five right now. That's not a ton. We can uh, make it a ton. You cannot go grab plazas with circuitous route. Ugh. I guess I should have waited. Would have had Clarion. Give our creatures lifelink. There's the angels. Okay, so we definitely want the fourth angel, and we want more clarions. Um... I think that's about it. We could, like, so Knight of Autumn's, like, honestly, a pretty decent card here. It's just a 4 3. Like, a 4 3 is a really good blocker. Uh, we don't want expansion. And I think we just kind of trim some guild summits. Like, usually we're not going to have time to play guild summits. I'd probably just do that. I'd probably just take out guild summits and just play some Knight of Autumn's just to be a, a 4 3 blocker. Could, of course, go Ceratops as well. It's not like Knight of Autumn's that easy to cast. And Ceratops doesn't die to Clarion. So maybe we just go Ceratops. Alright, we'll try that. I guess, yeah, Knight of Autumn does kill Embercleave. I just kind of thought of that right whenever I, I hit Submit. And then, yeah, I looked over the chat. Yeah, y'all you said that it could kill Embercleave too. Yeah, I probably should just be going Knight of Autumn, not Ceratops. Yeah. Whoops. Hopefully that doesn't uh, cost us. Yeah, we could have grabbed Gateway Plaza the last time, but I had I had the um, Gross Spirals I wanted to be playing. But yeah, Gateway Plaza. Gateway Plaza, of course, doesn't gain you life. Man, this is uploading to YouTube so fast. Demir controls are already uploaded. Wow. My computer is great. Do do. Okay, back to the chat. I'm trying to get back to the chat. I could, um, my Google Chrome's frozen. Google Chrome not responding. weird.
Okay. All right, I'm back in the chat room. Now, are y'all here? There you go. I see Rex said A+. Plus. That was the first thing I saw. Sweeper. Not a sweeper. So I can either, let's see. If I circuitous route, I die. Okay, well. That made this decision kind of easy. <laughs> if I circuitous route, I take lethal. Well, let's do the other thing then. Okay. All right, I'm going to be on the play here for game three. And we'll go Knight of Autumns instead of Ceratops. And here we go. What's the check next to your name mean? That I'm a verified Twitch user. Because I'm partnered. Hey, what's up, Anna Tran? Big time cheer. Where's my cheer emote? There we go. Big time cheer. Thank you so much there, Anna Tran. This is the new year. 28 land deck where we need to draw lands. Probably keep. <laughs> Can we add Ember Cleave to our gates deck? I mean, I guess we could. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's really necessary. All right, twenty-eight land deck. I need you to draw two lands. That's all I need. First one, not a land, not good. But I need to get a land for a blaze and a land for a route. All right, that's the first land. That's good. We'll take that. Yeah, yeah, I've always had that check mark for years streaming. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's always been there. It looks it looks different. They they remodeled it. I guess or whatever, redesigned it. Necrolepsy on the 10 month streak. Keeping those hype boats going. Thank you so much there, Necrolepsy. Attack. Boom. Approaching a year. Their 22nd sub of the day. I need to update that. Thanks, Narcolepsy. Uh, the beast. I don't know why they didn't attack with their questing beast. Like, what? Why would they not just even just attack with just the questing beast? Because either I block, and that's a great trade for them, or I take four. It doesn't really matter. I would have just taken it, and, and you know, like, but they could have dealt four damage there. That's something they should be attacking. All right, want to know. More like four color greats. Am I right? This deck's pretty great. Uh, no timeness says low processing power. What? 
I mean, that's like a that's a statement there. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed. I don't know what you're trying to say. No timeness. Because that. You have to use a complete sentence, please. I don't know computer stuff too much or what you're referencing. We can't get this growth spiral to go off on turn two for anything. Oh, they okay, they did not attack with their questing beast because of low processing power. Gotcha. I thought you were talking about something with the pewter. Resolve. Resolve. No. Because yeah. Thought this was probably Simic Flash. I don't know. It just kind of felt like it was. And Guild Summit was obviously like a, a car that could, could maybe win the game for us. I'm looking good. The land fights for us. I just brag about it. Uh, I haven't seen any lag issues on my end. I didn't I didn't even reset arena between the leagues. I wanted to try how it was without resetting arena. Ooh, main deck ether gust. Got me pretty good there. Rise, my elemental friend. Good hand. Good hand for the opponent. Definitely a good one. Behold, nature's true power. Planeswalkers are are the hole to this deck as as we talked about at the be the beginning. Planeswalkers are where we struggle. That ether gust though, that was really good. Getting rid of my Getting rid of my RAM. <laughs> yeah, there's a Cerebus. Right. Life cannot be denied.
Bleh. Endure. All right, so what do we have in our sideboard against Nissa? It's mass manipulation. So yeah, we'll be playing a couple Ceratops, maybe a couple manipulation. And this is probably a good negate matchup. These other spells also. I conceded too early there. I did. That was that was too early of a concession. Hey Oscar, yo. The computer is working very well. Very, very well. Just the gates ablaze. Sixty four, I gotta cut another four cards. But I like all these cards. I guess I don't need three negate and two expansion. Guess we're taking out Colossus because we're bringing in the other stuff. Expansion is just a, another counter spell, basically. You know, counter, counter their counter kind of thing, and then plus has the explosion on the other end. Harder to cast, though. Uh, the Demir control deck, yeah, it it needs need a little work. Um, it kind of struggled with with the junt with the sacrifice decks at first, and then. Made some changes after the first two matches, and it felt a little better. This deck should be called the Closed Gate for the Fairies, since not a single Eldraine card. There's not a single Eldraine card? That's pretty awesome. Oh, I should have led with the Selesnya Guildgate. Sorry, I was reading that. I just realized I had a basic island in hand. Whoops. Oh, well. Life will be fine. Cool. And yeah, the, the YouTube video is up already with the Demir Control. These these videos have been uploading a lot faster. At least they have so far. No, it's not a different mono black discard from last time. It'd be the same.
Oh, yep. Yep, I'm very happy with the new PC. Absolutely. Looks like maybe they have Nissa again. I, I sure hope not, but... Yep. We will it's definitely the card that I can't really handle. That's the good one against me. Draw mass manipulation. Yay. Give me that. You better not. Are you kidding me? Mystical dispute? Boo. Come on. <laughs> Behold, nature's true power. Thanks, Yun. That mystical dispute. That was pretty good. Alright, so again, we're on the draw. We need to draw lands, but our deck has 28 of them. So being on the draw, I'm not too worried about having to draw lands. I like these sweepers against an aggressive strategy. And then our guild summit, Krasis, can do good against a non-aggressive strategy. This is Lincoln Park. Um, Somewhere I Belong is the name of the song. Come on, deck. I just talked about how we have 28 lands, so we can draw some lands. Over half the cards are lands now. So four, <clears throat> four draws, and none of none of the four draws were a land. None of the four draws were a land. That's great. Yes, there there should be more gates in the deck. Why scoop? Because we are dead. I don't play anything there. They attack me for eight. Best case scenario, I draw one of my like like six, seven. Seven. I draw one of my seven untapped lands. And I kill two creatures. 
And then they still get to attack me. With the, I can't kill the Wicked Wolf. Even if the best case scenario and I draw one of those seven on tap lands, Gates of Blaze was only doing three. Or sorry, it was only doing two. And of course my opponent would play more things. That was dead. That was dead. Alright, same thing. Uh, two land. We're <clears throat> I'm not really changing. I, I really like this. I think that we'll draw land. I think. Half, half the deck's land. So we... <clears throat> basically, we had a coin flip or, or better four times in a row and missed them all four times last time. The first one is worse than a coin flip. The second draw is now a coin flip. And then the third and the fourth are better than a coin flip. Unbelievable. I guess that makes sense that this is a Trail of Crumbs deck. I guess I could have brought in Knight of Autumns. I was just kind of thinking it was like a Golgari mid-range, but I guess that makes sense that it's a food deck. I want to draw more gates. Midnight Reaper is just awesome, of course. Like it, you know, really hurts my play gates of blaze plan. So just pressuring their life total instead. make this Midnight Reaper hurt even more. This is friends list. I have one friend online right now. This has just, just been a really disappointing two matches. Last match and this match. No, the dog the dog doesn't change colors. I'm really bad. Obviously, the Gates of Blaze killed my Ram now. See, I didn't want this thing out there making food to bring back the Cauldron Familiar and everything. Yeah, it just kills that thing, though. Yeah, I could do all the damage to the Reaper. I'm just, I guess I just wasn't really even thinking and just frustrated about how this was going.
That was just a terrible match. Um... I guess it's frozen. Yeah, I drew I drew one land in the two games combined with all those with all those draw steps, drew one land. And that land that I drew was just because of the like we drew it off the grow spiral, so I drew zero lands and draw steps. A deck that has 28 lands that's built on hitting lots of land drops. It was just really frustrating. The bolt sleeve is 8,000 gold, I believe. Good. I thought this was double Plaza of Harmony at first, the hand. Like, where we'd only have, like, red, white, red, white, red, white. But Gateway Plaza is perfect. Yeah, but I sh Yeah, that's a good call. I probably should have just dealt all the damage to Reaper. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can do a better job against a food deck here. Because I think that we have a good food matchup. But obviously those hands were just awful. So let's see how we do here. All right, we'll get the Guild Summon in play. Even though I would love to Circuitous Route next turn. That would be like the play that I probably want to do, but it doesn't look like we'll be doing that. We're probably going to be casting the Clarion or the Ablaze and drawing a card off the summit. That's fine. <sighs> yeah, track team, it's... I don't know, it's kind of hard. It's hard to say. Um, I don't... I don't like... I don't really like telling people if, if something, if purchasing, you know, something is worth it or not, because, you know, everybody's situation is different and all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so Blaze is doing three damage, where Clarion is also... I'll use Clarion. Clarion could give me lifelink later on, but a Blaze could maybe kill a Corvold. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, you get to play as much Brawl as you want for, you know, basically a month. Uh, so if you really like brawl, you want to play brawl every day, I uh, yeah then then it's probably what you what you want to do. Kind of depends on how much brawl you think you're going to be playing, because that is really really expensive. That option there, like they did not make that cheap to play brawl. Oh, well, that wasn't good. Hey, what's up, Bert? Thanks for that resub. I'm just rusty today. Taking a few days off magic. I am rusty. Thanks so much for that resub there, Bert. So I can either play Gate Colossus or Growth Spiral. We'll just get the Colossus in play. Let's 
Gotcha. Okay, yeah, you'd be spending 2,000 gems for just the one win card. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Because you could just use wild cards. So yeah, if, if you don't actually play very much Brawl, I would not recommend doing it then. All right, double guild summit basically means we have infinite cards now. I hope they don't auto stack these triggers. I shouldn't have the triggers auto stacked. Uh, yeah, good. That's that's how we want to do it. Yeah, it's, it's basically you're, you're paying for the ability to play Brawl as much as you want over the next month instead of just having only Wednesdays for Brawl. Every every one of the gen sacrifice players we've played against today has been playing this beanstalk giant. Must be an, a new thing everybody's doing. Uh, it's from Canister's deck. Gotcha. Was it the deck? Was it the deck that got first? And I know that I know that Jun Sacrifice got first in the Mythic Championship. I don't know if was that was that the one? Like, did Canister get first? Okay. Yeah. That would make sense then. I guess I could have drawn, drawn two cards. We would, if I would have played the Gilgate, we'd have to discard two cards, but it would give us a chance that if we could have drawn the second Gate Colossus in one of those two. So that's how the the games I think would normally kind of go against Jund. Our other two games, we just had no, no land. That went a little bit better. 
want the Knight of Autumns. That may kind of be it, though. I don't think we need more sweepers. I think we're kind of good on sweepers. <clears throat> Maybe two Archway Angels. I could trim Guild Summit since they have enchantment removal, but probably don't need to. They're probably good. Hmm. I kind of like all these cards. We got to cut one, though. Maybe I just go to five sweepers. I don't know. The sweepers seem pretty nice, being able to cast a couple of them. Like, I probably want to play two sweepers. I guess I could trim a Gate Colossus, but it looked good there that last game. Cut a Krasis. We could do that too. We could cut one Krasis. The new PC setup went, went pretty well. Went pretty well. I think I'm going to cut a Colossus instead of Krasis. <laughs> you think minus one summit? We could do that too. Lasso options there. Yud. Yud. Yeah, uh, two of my mods, uh, boot, QQ, yeah, boot to the head and QQ, both helped me. So I led with Simic Gilgate, not the Red Land, because specifically because of this. Because if we drew growth, growth Spiral, I wanted to be able to go towards having Growth Spiral to be able to play on turn two. Uh, budget friendly. Can you sub Krasis for Risen Reef? No, I don't. I don't think you'd want Risen Reef. You could play. Do you have like Mass Manipulation or Niv Mizzet Perun? Those like you want. You want big, big mana effects, basically. Agent of Treachery. Maybe like. Uh, like a blue finale could draw you a ton of cards. I need to draw a gate. I need to kill Corvold. I need to draw a gate. No, a fabled passage. Uh Never mind, we just can't kill Corvold. We die. Best draw a circuitous route. Uh decline. I ain't, I don't got time for you gate glasses.
Ouch. Well, that works, I guess. Good, not another Corvold. Another Corvold would have been devastating. Um, sure, I'll draw you now. My best draw now is the blue enchantment, though. Solar Blaze it just isn't reliable. Like you want, you really want your sweeper to kill stuff. You know, like when you're like you know, like you need to kill Gilded Goose, for example. Like you can't just like let your opponent just have have you know, like Gilded Goose just sit here and make food and everything. And you know, like you need your sweepers to kill everything. And Solar Blaze just doesn't kill some things. But as you see, like it wouldn't kill any either of these cards my opponent has. All the trailer crumbs. There's one graveyard in play. Library. Or wait, uh, hand. There we go. Oh, that's awesome, Ninja. Nice. Gotta kill these geese. I still get so many cards, though. I wish I had my blue enchantment. It's the thing that gets lets me get so many cards. Okay, never mind. Blue enchantment, not good anymore. Now just Hydro Crisis. Yeah, they've added some new anim animations. Looks like the goose has one.
Oh yeah, Rice the, or Rice the Redeemed with Mox Amber. Yeah, that card's incredible and historic with Mox Amber. That's a good call there. Yeah, now you don't have Oko. I like it. Good call there, CW. Yeah, we're gonna have to play some. Yeah, we're gonna have to make new historic decks now. Yeah, without Oko, that's big too. So I mean, this this is gonna take a little while, but I mean, this this Corvold is now unkillable. Like they they sack this thing, get another counter here to draw a card. They get to draw two cards of the Trail of Crumbs. They can also sack the Cinder Vines there and go to the next game. Maybe we want. Maybe we want manipulation, not Archway Angel. Just try to take Corvold and Mayhem Devil. Do I want one Archway Angel? I'll take out this Gate Colossus, right? So many good options. I guess Niv Miz is probably pretty good tier too. I guess expansion explosion. If we just play a, a late game and just try to get to explosion. It's a good option too. Yeah, it's actually a good option, too. There's a cracking sound in the audio. I don't... Yeah. I don't know how to... What's a cracking sound in the audio? The, the gain is where it's supposed to be. Yeah, no, I mean, I guess it was the cracking audio. So, Flourishing was saying in the for the for the Troll Knights YouTube video from earlier. Not right now. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, maybe something, maybe something set too high. I guess I'll have to look into it. You can hear it right now. It needs to be optimized with sound card. All right, I'll have to. Yeah, I'll I'll have to try to think of how to do that after. You know, like after the like tomorrow. That may not be something that I'll learn how to fix immediately. I don't know. Maybe I will be able to fix it immediately. I'm not sure. Okay, so it is noticeably different than the normal stream. Hmm. All 
I would assume it's with the motherboard. I haven't, I've never heard of a sound card before, so I'd assume it's just with the motherboard. Some deck, sometimes our deck can just do this. You know, they try to set up for like a long game. And we just ram some cheap down their throat. Through the gate break. Through the gate. Break it down. Rawr, rawr, rawr. That looks like game. So YouTube recording is 1080. Ugh. Not 1440, does it look crisper? Those of y'all that watched the YouTube videos before and watched, if you look at like the Troll Knights one now in 1080, does it, does it look crisper? Does it look better? It looks better, sweet. So there we go. So it's also 1080, but it looks better. That's that's the important thing. It looks better. All right, so we went two and two, also with four color gates. Honestly, we we're we we're basically two and one. We had one match that was just a complete throwaway match where we kept two two landers and didn't draw lands at all. Um, in our 28 land deck, <laughs> two games in a row. I don't know. That was like a throw throwaway. Uh, that was like a throwaway game. So I we were basically 2-1 and one in games that we actually played stuff. Um, you know, we lost to Nyssa. Nyssa was a problem with the, the Flash deck. They went, you know, like, they just countered everything, turns 1 through 4, that they needed to drop a Nyssa on 5 and then untap and counters. And then they had the one game, of course, they, the second game, though, they did, did the same thing, but then play Nyssa, untap a blue source, and then have Mystical Dispute for my mass manipulation immediately. That was devastating. Um, so yeah, like planeswalkers are going to be an issue. Like that's that's going to be an issue here. Besides that, I think the decks. I really do think this deck's well positioned. Um, you know, you saw how we won against John Sacrifice the second time. Played some close games though. I think I'd still kind of working on the sideboarding there with that matchup. Yeah, I liked how I sideboarded for the the last one more than I did pre than I did for the game two. Um, but yeah, I think four color gates is just really strong. Like as you saw there, like the gatebreakers ram rams are awesome. It fo it forces them to have like a good amount of removal for your gatebreaker ram, and that they have the removal for that, then it should give buy you time if they're you know having to pack a good amount of removal and defensive cards like that it should buy you time to guild summit circuitous route, go big high joy crisis that kind of stuff. The game we lost, we didn't have Guild Summit or Hydro Crisis or anything like that, that to help draw cards. Um, and we didn't have early Gatebreaker Ram either, so it was just just kind of a very middling hand. A um, bunch of Archway Angels that I shouldn't have had in the deck. But yeah, I think I think this is a strong deck. I think this is a really good choice. Um, if you do face a lot of Nar Narset's a problem, as we talked about before, because we do so many so many things that say draw a card especially the guild summits. If you do face uh, Narsets more, you can play Fry's in the sideboard. That Fry is a good sideboard card, uh, good sideboard option that you can have to be able to kill Narsets um, if you are facing those. It doesn't really help out against Nyssa, though. But, um, Ashiok's also a killer. Yeah, I could see that, yeah. Ashiok also gets fried. So you may want some Fry's in your sideboard. You know, I guess I didn't really go with the combo meal, so I, I don't have a side of fries. But if you want a side of fries, I can understand that. Um, you like Tamio in your four color gates? Okay. 
return a ram or a blaze or you know whatever you need there circuitous route that kind of stuff and you can get some colossus in your bin i could see that uh yeah prison realm that's another option you have prison realm it's a that's a pretty decent card that can do some stuff could go agent of treachery for Nissa. like i we have mass manipulation because like this deck can just go so big with having so many uh land drops and everything we have mass manipulation it turned out though that that second game you know they played nissa untap island attack with island we mass manipulate they had mystical dispute that was devastating that would have done the same thing to agent of treachery though too all right there's four color gates good deck here uh if you're watching on youtube you know you know the drill hit that like button over there leave the comments uh do both of those i'd appreciate both of those thanks so much for watching four color gates though and i'll see you for the next video